challenges were numerous because see, India is a very populous country. Uh, to find space which is large enough to hold viable populations of cheetah is not easy. We are delighted to be working with government of Namibia on this very important project. And this is a Namibian government to Indian government present gift. The major threat to the extinction of the cheetah has been addressed. Uh, it was primarily hunting and collection for private collections, uh, for uh, having animals, coursing wildlife. That threat is gone. The Wildlife Protection Act is in place, which prevents all kinds of hunting in, in the country. We have good protected areas, which are large enough to have populations of cheetah within them. And the tiger serves as a flagship of forested ecosystems. But there are vast areas which are dry, deciduous, open forest systems, which don't have tigers. And they lack a flagship species, a charismatic species, which attracts funding for the restoration. And along with the cheetah restoration, the whole ecosystem would be restored because uh, inputs would go in in terms of finances, in terms of uh, reducing human pressures and building up of prey species. So a multitude of species would benefit out of it. And at the end of the day, you would have better ecosystem services, which will benefit the communities living around those areas, uh, which integrates the introduction of the cheetah with ecosystem restoration. We darted Hella just about eight minutes ago. So she's just over uh, over this side, about 15 meters. And we're just waiting for her to go down so that we can uh, load her up into the box. She made it very easy for us today. She was very close and very relaxed, so it was nice and easy. But... Got blood now, so we can send a blood for testing to do a disease screening to be sure they're healthy to go to India. signed a very important agreement, a landmark agreement with government of Namibia for overall conservation of wildlife and sustainable utilization of biodiversity. Now Namibia is a wonderful partner because it's called the cheetah capital of the world and Namibia also has its own very strong credential, uh, very strong conservation systems and values in place uh, and we also learn to benefit from that by learning uh, with Namibia on how to protect these wonderful precious creatures. We are currently working to ensure that all the procedures and all the requirements are in place uh, before the cheetahs are actually sent to India. There will be eyes uh, from around the world watching and from that every step of the way we have to do the best that we possibly can. So the animals that we have helped identify are animals that we have been radio collaring for a period of time and um, with that we have to bring them into a quarantine situation. So we've had to bring the animals from the wild in um, and then hold them. And then with that, they have to go through a entire veterinary check. Um, again, be quarantined for a period of time before they're transported to India. With that, we've had to develop transport boxes, which are um, officially recognized by the airport um, airlines there are rules along that as well. Uh, the veterinarian checks have to come from our Namibian state veterinarian and then approved and then go to the Ministry of Environment, uh, Forestry and Tourism. And then they will um, process what's called the CITES permit. And that is a permit that gives the legal um, global uh, permit to go from one country to another. Uh, the first site where we're planning to take uh, the cheetah is Kuno National Park and Kuno was prepared for the last 20 years for the reintroduction of the Asiatic lion. And the lions have not yet come to Kuno, um, the reasons are married. So waiting for the lions for 20 years, um, it's best to bring in something else if it's not going to happen. And so the cheetah fills in the void there and we're bringing in the cheetah there right now. That does not negate the possibility of the future to bringing in lions at all.
add that this project has a very special significance for all Indians because this is a special year uh, where we are observing and celebrating 75 years of India's independence. So all Indians are very excited to receive these cheetahs whom we fondly call as goodwill ambassadors of Namibia, not just to India, but to the entire world.